You're here for one reason and one reason only. You suck as a fire team member or your fire team can't seem to win matches. I'm here to change that. Hello, I'm Burn the Streets and I've been playing Predator Hunting Grounds since its launch and I've had major success as playing the Predator and the fire team and I want to share to you what I've learned and what made me so successful in this game. Without further ado, let's hop straight in. Tip number one, in the reading up screen, you can see your team's operators, weapons, and perks. It's your job to analyze who's running what and to be different. I'm talking about the operators. If you see your team is running OWLF, Assault and Recon, run support, Dutch, Isabel, etc. Your team is more utilized and more prepared for the Predator when you guys run different classes and play those roles. Tip number two, the second you drop into the game, mudding up is mandatory. What this does is cloak and block you from the Predator's thermals, forcing the Predator to waste their energy and resources to find you. They cannot track what they can't see. Tip number three, learning how to crouch and strafe. Crouching and strafing is running in short bursts within long roads or open spaces while crouching in this situation is crouching within trees and dense foliage when you suspect a predator is nearby or if the area is too quiet. By doing this, you're making your foot pattern unpredictable and harder to read from the predator's perspective. This also creates frustration for the predator as they will suspect you to run straight to the objective as what they're used to. Tip number four, putting your knife before your primary and secondary weapons. As you are crouching and strafing, I need you to get into the habit of having your knife out and stealth killing everything more than spraying bullets. The knife is the only weapon in game that can stun the predator in close combat and force them to retreat because of the openings you've created. The only time you need to fire your weapons is when the enemy is at a distance and you need to close the gap fast so they don't send in reinforcements or take your health down. Tip number five, disarm all alarms within the objective slash mission area and do the objective. I've seen fire teams fail missions because they'll focus on killing the enemies and hunt the predator. Remember, the predator has no time limit to kill. Its only goal is to kill you. But you have a time limit, and if you don't complete your objectives, the game is won to the Predator. Get your objectives done as soon as possible, because the sooner you get them done, you'll be able to extract, which will throw off the Predator because that will limit the Predator's time to hunt you guys and force them to use a last resort type of gameplay. Tip number six, stay with your team. I cannot stress this enough. There's four of you for a reason. You alone could best the predator if you're experienced enough. But in this situation, you are the hunted. You are stronger as a team. It is nearly impossible for the predator to best you if you guys stay together. Use callouts, utilize your gear, and have map layout and knowledge. Tip number seven, outsmart the predator. Going back to utilizing your gear, that means if the Predator is around you or your team, use your smoke screens, flush the game out with noise slash weapon decoys, flashbangs, UAVs, everything given to you, use it. The more you start to use your gear, the more comfortable and confident you'll be at Predator encounters by yourself in stressful AI situations. Tip number eight, don't get cocky. Let's say, you or a fire team member sprays a massive amount of bullets into the predator. The predator will either go into second wind or will retreat entirely to heal or get their bearings together. The last thing you want to do is pursue the predator and try to kill them. This should only be available to experienced and veteran fire team members who can read a predator's playstyle and know they can best them. In this case, that's not you. And once you've dealt the damage to the Predator, you need to regroup with your team, finish your mission, and worry about extracting. At this point, you've turned the Predator into the Prey, and they'll play distant from you and try to pick you guys off to avoid damage. 
this is when they're at their weakest and should be taken advantage of to make sure your team still has resources needed to carry on. With all the tips I have listed, I hope this gives you a better insight and a better way to play a fire team and to make sure to get your fire team on track. If you guys have comments, questions, or concerns about the game or just in general, please feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. That's it as far as the tips. Enjoy the rest of the video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, always join the heat wave. I'm out, guys. Fire team. The heroics of those left behind won't be forgotten.